السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today إن شاء الله we are going to talk about our, our final math revision fifth primary first term we have here the model um, the ministry model okay we are going to solve it let's start بسم الله I have here the first question is the value of the digit 4 in the number 3.514 the value so you have to know what is the difference between the value or the place value place value means what the digit in which place in the ones tens or the tenth hundredth thousand whatever okay but when i ask you for the value so you have to write it in digits so the place it has to be in letters okay and the value it has to be in digits so the question here about the value so i have to write it in digit okay what is the value of this four okay start to know your places starting from the decimal point here i have ones and here i have yes tenth and here is hundredth th okay this is the family of th okay and here is thousands okay so when i want to know the value of four i will put here zero and zero and zero so which one is the right answer yes it's number d number two the value of the variable x in the equation x plus 3.5 equals 8 is what okay when i have plus it means what this is the whole number and this is a part and this is another part how can i find x here x is a part so how can i find it whole minus a part so here in my rough work i will write down 8 minus 3.5 i will start to line up my numbers of starting from the decimal so i'll put decimal up and put here zero and the uh, decimal uh, part and put the decimal under decimal here i have three and here i have five okay zero minus five it can't be knock 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 eight can you give me one yes i will be seven and here it will be ten ten minus five equal five once you see the decimal drop it seven minus three equals four so the right answer is c three all the following numbers are prime except okay so i know all the, the following numbers it will be all of them will be prime except one two is a prime yes what is the meaning of prime miss prime means i have two uh, factors only the one and myself so two here just have two factors five has two factors seven has two factors but about what about nine no nine has one and nine three and three okay so number four the number what is the common factor for all numbers for all numbers the factor here huh, will be one what about the multiples yes it will be zero and i ask you here about factors so the answer is one okay number five 18.58 what about the sign the sign means what approximately or i will round this number so i will round this number to the nearest what to the nearest hole what is the meaning for the nearest hole i will approximate it or i will round it to the nearest ones place find your place it's eight this is the ones huh? look right door five or more i will add one more to my place so one plus eight equals nine and i will drop whatever on my left hand as it is what about the decimal part and the rest of decimal you ignore so the right answer is 19 what about this number how can i find it what about the whole the whole here is 20 so the whole part is 20 but the decimal point here i have seven in which place in the hundreds i have anything in the tenth no so in the tenths i will put zero and in the hundreds i will put seven what about this eight yes it in the the thousands so the right answer is a here 85.3 times 1 over 10 equals what what about this miss this is a fraction yes it's a fraction but i can convert this fraction into decimal 1 over 10 means what one tenth how can i write one tenth in the decimal uh, form it will be what 0 0.1 so instead of 1 over 10 it will be what 0 0.1 it's super easy now ignore the decimal point multiply as you learned before it will be what 80 
853 times 1, it will be 853. How many decimal places you have here? 1 and here 1. So I put the decimal point after 2, 1, 2, then put the decimal point. Always count the decimal places from your right hand. So the right answer is B. Here I have 5,000 plus 73 hundredths equals how many thousands? I have here thousands, but I have here hundreds, and the answer has to be by thousands. So I have to convert all of these numbers to be thousands also because the answer has to be in the thousandth. So I have here 5,000. I will leave it as this. How can you convert 73 hundredths into thousands? I know that 100 equal how many thousands? 10,000. So I multiply this number by 10 equals 730 plus 5. It will be what? Yes, 7, 735,000. Now we have here the number whose all prime factors are 3 and 2 and 2. How can we find it? Yes, let's multiply all the prime factors. 3 times 2 times 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. So the number is 12. 1,000 gram equals how many kilograms? Okay, from small unit to big unit, I will divide. Divide by 1,000. Or I can multiply by what? 0, 0, 0, 1. And I put the decimal point after just one place. So the answer will be just 1 kilogram. And we all know that the 1,000 gram equals just 1 kilogram. He wanted me to find the GCF, which means the greatest common factor of 8 and 12. How can we find them? We have a lot of ways to solve it. We can find out all the factors of 8 and all the factors of 12. And let's find out the greatest common factor between them. And we put it here. Or we can use what? We can use a prime factorization. And I prefer, I prefer to use the prime factorization. Let's solve it by the prime factorization. 8 equals what times what? equals 2 times 4. Okay, 2 here is a prime. Yes, circle and leave it. What about 4? No, 4 here it's what? A composite. So I will put it in the box and they will never see it again. But 4 equals 2 times 2. So circle and leave it because it's a prime. Circle and leave it and because it's a prime. And I have finished 8. What about 12? I can say that 12 equals 3 times 4, 2 times 6, whatever you want, but don't put 1, okay? You will choose any other factors except one. So I can use here what? Two times six. Two is what? A prime circle and leave it. What about six? No, it's a composite. So I put it inside the books. And six equals two times three. Circle and leave it because it's a prime. Circle and leave it. Now we know that eight equals two times two times two. I will take only the prime factors. Don't look inside any books okay what about 12 12 equal what 2 i will put 2 under 2 times another 2 so put 2 under 2 times i have here 3 i have any 3 to put it under it no so i will go far away and put 3 now what are the common between them i have here what 2 and 2 so the common the great the great common factor will be what i will take one from this box and I will take one from this box. It will be what? 2 times 2 equals 4. What about this 2 and this 3? I can take them except in the case of what LCM. But I want to find out what now? GCF. Let's see number 5. The product of 13.5 times 2.2. How can we solve it? Super easy. Big number up. Small number down. And ignore the decimal point. I will solve it as I don't see any decimal point. I have here in the second number, I have ones and tens. So I multiply them together. Don't forget before you leave, you have to put here what? Zero and the tens what? And the tens place. Let's choose another color. So the ones here is what? Two. Two times five, ten, zero and carry up one. Two times three, six plus one, seven. Two times one equals two. Okay, now it's turn in the turn of what of tens tens here is what another two two times five ten zero and carry up one two times three seven six plus one seven two times two will be two and add zero plus zero zero seven plus zero seven two plus seven nine 
and two. I have here how many decimal places? Just one. I have here how many decimal places? Just one. So I bought the decimal point after two places from my right hand. One, two, then put the decimal point. So the answer is 29 as a whole point seven. And this zero doesn't mean anything. Can I put it? Yes, you can. But it's what? It's it's nothing. So you prefer to not put it, okay? The sum, which means a plus of 3.127 plus 8.65. Okay, let's choose another color. Okay, I have you what the first number. I will put it up like this, 3. 0.127 when i want to line up my numbers in plus or minus what should i do here i will put decimal under decimal so i will start to put decimal under decimal here on my left hand i'll put eight on my right hand i will put six then five what about this place i will put just zero to make what to make balance seven plus zero seven two plus five seven one plus six another seven once you see the decimal drop it 3 plus 8 equals 12. So the answer is 11.777. The quotient, which means the answer of a division of 6.66 divided by 6. Okay, on my rough, rough work, whatever come first, go inside the house. So I will put this number inside the house, which is the dividend. 6.66 divided by 6. I have here one digit place, underline one digit place. 6 divide 6 equals 1. 1 times 6 equals 6. Subtract will be 0. Once you see the decimal, kick it up and drop next down and do it again. 6 divide 6 equals 1. 1 times 6 equals 6. Subtract 0 and drop next down and do it again. 6 divide 6 equals 1. 1 times 6 equals 6. Subtract 0. I have anything to drop? No. So happy end. So I have your one, 1.11. 1. 1. The number 3 plus 0 0.2 plus 5 over 100 plus 9 over 1000 in standard form. How can I write these fractions in a standard form? Miss? Once again, you have to convert this fraction into decimal. I have your what 5 over 100, which means but the numerator as it is. Count two places, one, two, according to how many zeros you have in the denominator. So then put the decimal point and put zero here and zero there. Plus, huh? It will be what here? I'll put the numerator as it is. Count this time how many places? Three places. One, two, three, then put the decimal point. What about the empty places? I will I will complete them by zeros. Now we have what? Three as a whole number. Then I will put the decimal point. I have here what in the tenth? Two. And in the hundreds, five. And in the thousand, I have nine. So this is the standard form of this number. Now we have this question. Four times 85 plus two times 85 equals what? This is what? Yes, this is a form of distributive property. Super. We use the distributive property in what? Yes, in area model. Super. So, as we have here what? As I multiply 85 twice. 1 times 4 and the other one times 2. So, is as if I have this side equal 85 and this part of side equal 4 and this part of 5 equal 2. 4 plus 2 equals what? 6. So, the original... Uh, uh, problem was what 85 times 6 so this equal what 85 times 6 it's not 20 it's not 40 so it has to be what 4 just 4 plus 2 equals 6 5 ones so I have here 5 in the ones place 47,000 how can I write 47 thousands huh but the numerator as it is Count how many places? Three places. One, two, three, then put the decimal point. So I have here what? Zero. And I have here what? Another zero. So how can I write it? It will be what? Five as whole, then point zero four seven. So which num uh, answer is right answer? It is D. The number what is one of the multiples of six. What is the meaning of multiples when I jump, jump, jump by six? 
it means what zero then i will jump six places it will be six then i will jump another six it will be 12 then i will jump another six it will be 18 and so on so which of these number in table what in table six okay i have 16 in table six no i have 26 in table six no but i have what i have 24 how do i know the number will be divisible by six it has two conditions it has to be divi divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. This number is an even number, so it's divisible by 2. But it is divisible by 3. How do I know? Add the digits 1 plus 6 equals 7. It's not divisible by 3. Here, it is even number, so it can be divided by 2. But it's divisible by 3? No. How do I know? 2 plus 6 equals 8. Here I have what again? I have again here a 24. It's what? even number but it's not divisible uh, but it's what 2 plus 4 equals 6 so it is divisible by 3 1 plus 6 it's 7 so it's not divisible by 3 the prime factors of the number 12 are what which one of them if i multiply them together and they are all of them are primes will be divisible by 12 it's what Yes, 2 times 2 times 4 uh, times 3. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. What about here? 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 times 3, 18. So I can't choose it. 6 times 2 equals 12. But 6, it's not a prime. So this is what? Not prime factor factors. 4 times 3 equals 12. But 4, it's a composite, not a prime. What about this number? Yes, I think all of you know now. So I will put the numerator as it is. Count three places. One, two, three, then put the decimal point. Complete the empty places by zero. So the right answer is B. The value of the variable x in the equation x minus 2.5 equals 4. In subtraction, I start with whole. And here I have part and here I have part. How can I find the whole? I will add the two parts. So 4 plus 2.5 equals 5 point, yes, so it will be what? 6.5. So this is the right answer. The composite number in the following numbers is, which one of them? It's what? Composite, not a prime. We all know the prime numbers are what? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 23 and 29 okay so which one of them it's not prime number yes it's a 15 because it's divisible by 3 it's divisible by 5 and it's divisible by itself itself and 1 okay that's all for today see you soon inshallah